Medium Show. I'm Psychic Medium Karen Reese today with my wonderful other half of Lexus Appia, known as the AKA Elf. <laughs> and today our special guest, Kelsey, uh, AKA Deary, or Vixen, or Rudolph, <laughs> or all of the above. Hi guys, I cannot believe that we are here in Farmer's Creekside here in Leroy. I was joking about this with Karen, like the start of the holiday season, and I'm like, you're literally think I'm crazy, but I wanna pop ourselves into the igloo. So we flew today from the North Pole. We are here in Farmer's Creekside um, in an igloo. So we actually were able to film, but so happy holidays, both of you. Uh, so one thing about like the holiday season is just tradition, I think. So Rudolph, what is your favorite holiday season. Yeah, either as Kelsey or as Rudolph, but what's your favorite tradition? Yes, Kelsey, my favorite <laughs> holiday tradition would be probably doing brunch at my grandparents on Christmas morning. I love it. And do you, like, remember all the, like, the specific things and, like, the traditions through that? Like, oh, were you gosh. guys bringing everything? Yes. Yeah, but it's always a little bit of chaos involved, which I think, you know, speaks to the holiday season, right? It wouldn't be a family event, right, <laughs> if it wasn't. Yes. Um, to kind of go off of that, though, you know, for many people, holidays are very touching. Like for our family in particular, we had two losses within the year, and I'm sure we're not in a minority here. Um, but you know, how do how do you kind of see tradition and the holiday season for those who have lost people, and how hard it is, you know, when you see an empty chair at the table and you remember who sat there. So, what do you? You know, that's a really good question because it's. You know, it's always like a holiday time where people really begin to relate to, you know, who's there and who isn't there. Um, well, most people may think that or may not see their loved ones. I actually still see them there. And, and it's kind of funny because they want us on the other side to be happy and to enjoy ourselves. And they want also, you know, when we're happy, they're happy. So rather than being sad that they're not physically with us, know that they really are in spirit. And what, what better way than to have a nice, you know, Know, happy, maybe a happy story about them, something that you can laugh at, you know, because let's face it, at some point we're all going to connect, you know, we're here for a short period of time, and then at some point we'll leave and we'll end up, you know, meeting up with them. But in the meantime, you know, enjoy what you can do here, put your intentions out, and by all means, talk to them, you know. And I'll tell you, many times I've had people tell me, you know, during Christmas dinner or what have you, the lights have flickered on and off, especially when they mention a particular name. I know we've had that. You oh know, my God, we have it all the time in like our office. Your grandfather was, <laughs> you know, an amazing icon in the industry, let alone, you know, your number one hero and your stepdad. And we have that constantly. So, you know, when you look for those subtle, like little things, you know that they're there with you. And I always tell people too, you know, while you're enjoying your dinners or your breakfast or just, you know, whatever, hanging out, the minute you think of that person, chances are they're with you. Um, and you're picking it up too, to me, though you may put it in your favorite reference. Mm -hmm. you know, so. I also have a good, you know, feeling about it. I love it. I think there's a difference between honoring somebody and remembering somebody. You know what I mean? And it's a very slight difference, but I think it comes down to intention because honoring is like more like of a positive mindset, whereas remembering is more like of a somber, like recalling, I think. Exactly. And I always tell people, regardless of whatever holiday, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, or whatever, it's an opportunity to honor the life that they lived. You know, every time you're given a life, you know, that's a miracle and it's an opportunity. And, you know, each of us learn to grow and take on challenges. And then also, what do they teach us? You know, how did they handle their situations? And, you know, what can we learn from them, right? Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, you know, we're all connected. But that is so true. I love it. I love it. Well, happy holidays to my favorite crew. Wait a minute, one quick question. You what? Said you came down by the pole. Were you talking about pole dancing again? <laughs> I came down from the North Pole in your I red sleigh with Rudolph. That was me, Vixen. <laughs> <laughs> <That's you, Vixen. laughs> I had your number. <laughs> I know. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, stay tuned for the next part of the Karen Reese Show. Um, we will be interviewing Brittany D'Angelo, who was on season 23 of Big Brother. So she's here for our holiday special. And of course, anytime Karen's around, spirits around. So that means readings. Bye.
Welcome back to The Karen Lee Show. We are so excited to have our next guest with us, Brittany Giangelo. She was on season 23 of Big Brother. She made it so far, she made it to jury. And now she is here with us. Brittany, welcome to the show. Oh how gosh. are you? I cannot even tell you guys how excited I am to be here. Thank you both so <laughs> ho, much. Ho, 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 you're oh here. My, I mean, obviously we had to come up in the Christmas getup. I, I mean, mean. I had to match the attire here. <laughs> like, y'all came as elves. I wanted to come as the dabbing Santa and reindeer. I love it. You know, so we just thought that we would pull it all together. But I'm so excited to be here. Thank yes. you both so much for this oh. opportunity. Really, like, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we're thrilled to have you. So let's get into uh, Big Brother. So Absolutely. What what, uh, when did you decide to audition for that, and uh, how many times did it take for you to finally, uh, you know, get picked? Yeah, absolutely. But firstly, I was on Big Brother. I did that. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll be really honest. Sometimes I like think like about it. that experience, and I'm like, I did that for three months. That happened. That's insane. It's it's like the timeline is so crazy because mm -hmm. obviously I was not exposed to the real world, had no idea what was going on, and now I'm back home, and I'm like, I did that. <laughs> Um, but no, to your life. question's answer, um, I applied twice before I got on the show. So I knew that I wanted to go on Big Brother starting when I was 18. Beautiful. Had just watched season 16, watched Derek and Cody. They were called the Hitman Alliance. They made it to final two. Just saw them absolutely dominate the game. Dominate, just tear apart everyone else. And just, I was like, man, that just looks like fun. <laughs> Like, like all the competitions, the alliances, the strategic aspect of the game, it all seemed like so much fun. So starting when I was 18, I wanted to go on the show. You can only apply when you're 21, but obviously I was touring <laughs> on the road with Missoula Children's Theater. I was doing both my bachelor's degrees. I had a master's to go for. So I was like, this is the perfect time because I had no job solidified right after my master's degree. And I graduated with my master's in May of 2021 and I literally hopped onto the show June of 2021. So for me, I was like, no better time. Might as well throw it on audition tape, see how it goes. <laughs> and now we're here. So like some, they saw something in me, which was great. I mean, production couldn't have been better. The crew couldn't have been better. But no, I tried twice, and that second time was the charm. I love Beautiful. it. And look, your energy is so infectious. Like, why <laughs> couldn't they? Stop. Like, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> stop, man. No, I just. That's why you got to. It's. It was crazy, because even through the casting process, like you, my family was actually doing bets on when I was going to get cut. Like, Aww. we would go every round, and we'd be like, $20 down on the table, I'm gonna get cut this round. <laughs> and then I get the call being like, you made it to the next round, and we were like, <laughs> cough it up. <laughs> um, but it was just, it was so crazy, because truly, with someone who's gone through everything that I've gone through in my lifetime, getting cast on a television program, a reality TV show, is not an easy feat to do, especially no. when that reality TV show is a social experiment, <laughs> where you have to be in a house locked up with 16 other house casts, including yourself, you have no communication from the outside world. The only communication you have is production. So the fact that I was even considered and, and got a spot on that show, knowing everything that I go through with, with my autism diagnosis and things like that, as this is a social experiment, like I said, is, is crazy. That's amazing. It, it was it's insane. inspiring. It's inspiring. It was insane. So you became super close with Big D and Ozzy. The Jokers, baby. Yes, the Jokers. <laughs> we love the Jokers. We do Who love, doesn't the, love the Jokers. Who doesn't love the Jokers, right? We all love the Jokers. Um, from day one. Yes. So here's the question. They both made it to final four. Yes. So if they made it to final two, who would you have voted for? If it was Big D and Ozzy in yeah. the final two, my vote would have gone to Ozzy. I think because at that point, obviously, we had known that it was X and Ozzy in that final, in that third part of the HOH competition. If Aza would have won it and taken out X, she would have had my vote. Ultimately though, I mean, even like, I mean, X and Big D were in the final two and I was so close to Big D. I was closer to Big D than I was X, but I was voting for the best objective game. That's why my vote went to X. You Makes know what sense. I mean? So I would have had to evaluate it from a whole game perspective, but knowing that Aza would have made that move. Also, I was just very impressed by her strategic game throughout the game. I would have given her my vote. Love it. Good answer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Quick question. So everybody has a big secret. Yes. What was the moment like when you revealed your secret? <sighs> you can tell us in like two seconds. Yes. Um, my, I mean, it was amazing. It was so incredible finally being able to tell them all of me, my most vulnerable part of me. I mean, speechless is the mm -hmm. best way that I can say it. And Speechless. You, and it does a lot, too, for the community and for people out there that share the same, you know, I mean, secret. for sure. I mean, how many people do we know? I have, you know, I know a lot of people. So. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I've had thousands of people reach out to me with their stories, their autism, and their journeys, and saying that now because of me, they are able to apply for the show because they knew that I could do it. I've had thousands, of, along with the fact that there's just such a focus with neurodiversity for some reason on what we cannot do as, to, as opposed to what we can do, and this whole thing that our disability defines us instead of us being a person first. 
There's so many things wrong with everything that I just stated. <laughs> yeah, we are people real. first, and the focus should be on what we can do instead of what we cannot do. And I hope that me going on the show, that's the light that I wanted to share. Me going on the show was so much bigger than $750,000 from the moment I stepped in that house. It was <laughs> really to show true. people that we can do it too. It doesn't matter what disability you have. Or do mm -hmm. it differently too. Absolutely. You mm -hmm. know, people always Absolutely. Like, you know, pigeonhole. But anyways, as you it's were about. true. No, it's just like what I was saying is like, our differences don't divide us, they unite no, us. And when you look us. and when you look at someone's disability, which yeah. I don't like that word, but and think of it instead of a disability as a special ability, then our yes. world begins to change. No, absolutely. And, and I mean the biggest thing is this. A diagnosis or a label does not define you. Mm -hmm. You are so much more than that. And I mean I mean someone I mean, like you just said, it, it's the ability that matters. And I feel like with all this is what I was trying to get at. I feel like with autism, it's so much more of like a, people see autism as something involving the brain. Mm -hmm. So they have a different perception on autism because it has to do with the brain. But it's no different. Mm -mm. Like we're normal people, we do things all the time. So why, because it has to do with the brain, are we perceived differently than other people? That's what I just don't understand. Right. I can do anything anybody else can do. If I put my mind to it and put the work in, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's, it's about time that we start focusing on what we can do. Totally. And it's about Great time answer. that we start inspiring others to come forward and share their stories and go after their dreams as well because we can do anything. We just got to do it. You know what yes, I mean? We can do it. you get it. Yes, yes. So changing topics, um, your cast of BB23 is so close. We are. We so are a huge close. family. That's very true. Um, <laughs> so since the finale, how many times have you guys seen each other? And then also how many times do you guys speak like regularly throughout the time? Yeah, well, I speak to my cast about every day. We have about four different group chats running right now, <laughs> which is uh, it's a lot of notifications, but we get through them. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. We have spent a weekend together in Tampa. We spent a weekend together in Philly for Big D's birthday. Um, and we are going to be spending a weekend together in Orlando for Hearts of Reality coming up as well. So for me, I mean, I just, I love the fam. Like we are such a fam. We went through such an, a unique experience together that this now has united us bigger than anything else will. And like people ask us all the time, aren't you sick of each other? And we're like, no, because genuinely, like we understand what we're all going through. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to bond and relate through this. And also we just love each other. We went through such a unique experience. We love each other like family. We're going to be family for the rest of our lives. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of those trips happen because we voluntarily want to hang out with each other. I love it. Love That's it. it. I love it. <laughs> That's love it. it. <laughs> so if audience members want to find out more about you, where can they? So they can find out more about me on my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Instagram and TikTok are Brittany underscore D'Angelo, and then Twitter is just Brittany D'Angelo. Don't ask me why we don't have an underscore on that one, <laughs> but maybe we'll change that soon. Um, but no, we just, we have fun. We have fun. We've, it's all love about it. positivity, light and love on my pages, um, and just giving people a chance to share how amazing they are too. I love it. Brittany, thank you so much for coming. We love, oh my God, I love you guys. Oh, I love, love y'all so too. much. <laughs> Happy holidays and thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, thank you guys so much and happy holidays to everyone because yes. yay! <laughs> happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's and all those good things. Welcome back to the Karen Reese Show. As always, anytime Karen's around, spirits around. So if you'd like to enter for your chance to win a reading to hear from your past loved ones or hear about your future, you may do so by visiting our website at www.karenreese.com, spelled K-A-R-Y-N-R-E-E-C-E.com. You can also visit us on Facebook at Karen Reese Psychic Medium or on Instagram and on Twitter at Karen Reese. You can also visit her on TikTok, Karen Reese, and then number one, or you can send us an email, Karen, K-A-R-Y-N, and the little at sign, KarenReese.com. In your submission, please make sure you put your first and last name, your phone number, your email address, and why you deserve to win a reading. So today we have a very lucky winner with us who wrote to us via email. Dawn, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Awesome. Karen, take it away. My God, you're a popular girl on the other side. Just want to state that I've got your parents coming in. Um, actually, I have your grandparents too. Quick question. Did you want to add or uh, change an appliance or is this something your sister's thinking about a new fridge or something or getting a new appliance? Who's, who wants the new appliances or who needs a new appliance? My daughter. Oh, okay. That's what mom's talking about. I was just there. Is this one of the kids? Yeah. She's gonna, we're going to buy her a stove for Christmas. You might be adding a fridge on, make them all matchy matchy. <laughs> Don't stop there, your mother said. 
And she's like, mom, you know what? We need a new stove. You can, you know, just help us with it. Or, you know, cause I ask them what they want. And she says, you know, I'd love a new stove if you can help us with it. So I'm going there for Thanksgiving. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, your mother was referencing the kitchen appliance too. Who's the Norm connection? Dad keeps saying Norm, 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 Norm. Wait, Norm. My mother, Norma, Norma Jean. Norma Jean, yes. like Marilyn Monroe. I'm one of my favorites. Gotta yep, love that. Yeah, and Here's he called her Norm. <laughs> Some things don't change. Also, it's really funny too. Hang on there. Does your husband's back bother him these days? Um, lower back, and then I go into the middle of my back too. But I get muscle spasms. That might be like just a need for some potassium or electrolytes. That's what I'm getting more muscle spasms. So FYI on that as well. Also, might be her husband because I was just downstairs and I'm like, "What are you doing?" And he goes, "My back is killing me," and oh, I put a heating pad on it. Oh, that's the heat. <laughs> Wait, that's the heating pad that needs to go. So it's Debbie's husband, your sister's <laughs> husband. That's who your mother said. Something my daughter done heating. Oh, in the back. Okay, because I'm getting like muscle spasms. See? Yep. Yeah, just for the record, your mother knows everything that you're doing. Your parents know exactly what's going on. And that tells you that your house is haunted and was a few minutes ago. And they're here again with me, but they'll be back with you shortly. That's what your mom said to tell you. I love <laughs> Also, who was like a wall connection, like a Walter or wall? wall so wall? I have a, um, my oh. girlfriend oh, no, behind me, very good friend, uh, Michelle Walter. Yes, Paul that's Walter. it. Yep. That's what he said. Wall, wall, Walter Fred. How funny is that? Okay. They're so, like so close to me. Oh, figuratively and literally, apparently your dad and your mom like your Walters. And that's your confirmation too, that they're in your house and that they're still like checking everything. So your house is haunted. So is uh, your friend uh, Walters. Their house is also yeah haunted with your parents and their parents. Yeah. You can't make this up. And sometimes your dad says, yep, I'll be looking out your window and just waving. They can't see me, but I can see them. Your dad thinks he's funny. Oh my God. They're right in my backyard. Yeah, I saw him like looking out your kitchen window or whatever, oh waiting. And they're like going back and forth, not even a. That's hilarious. Also, the name Bonnie comes up. You're friends with a Bonnie, or you know a Bonnie because Bonnie's here. Bonnie, she was my my husband's cousin's wife, and passed. And he passed first at a very young age, um, mm -hmm. sickness, illness, and then she did like maybe four years ago. But we were very close. Oh, oh, you need to give your husband a hug and a kiss from his cousin and Bonnie. Yeah. Yep. And she said we had some great times. By the way, she said your mom's amazing. Your parents are just great people, your whole family. And she said, we're just happy here. And she said, we'll see each other again. Oh, I loved her. And yeah. she said, and I love you too. And she says to tell you, even though times have been a little difficult, you know, with everything going on, she said, don't worry, just keep your eye on the ball. Um, the other thing, did you have a problem with the TV recently? A what? A TV. Was your TV acting up one of your TVs? Um, not my TV, but my daughter just bought a new TV because her TV went. Oh, that's what your dad's talking about. He loves yeah. the new TV because he said there was a problem with the TV. I thought he said daughter, but granddaughter is what he's saying. So tell yeah. your daughter, grandma loves a new TV, which means her house is haunted too. He oh my it's funny. He goes, I make my stops. So tell the kids that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, one other quick question. Did somebody ever run into like a sliding glass door? So one of your kids? Um, well, actually it was when I, I don't think so, but what I can think of when you were saying, did something run it? I'm not somebody, but when Nikki was born, my mom always said, watch the birds and I'll be there. So this bird kept on hitting my dad's sliding glass door. That's what she's talking about. She kept saying, and, he's not hitting the door. Gotcha. And he's like, you know what? I didn't know what was going on. And then like 15 minutes later, I called him and I said, you know, you have a grandson. And he goes, it was your mother running into that door telling me that Nikki's here. That's what she's talking about. She says we're all connected. And she smiled about that. It was a crazy story. And I was like, oh my God. He goes, no, I'm serious because your mother said that. And, you know, I didn't know what was going on. And he, he's going, this damn bird, you know? <laughs> Ask a lot about birds. No, I don't like birds. I'm scared of birds. Uh -uh. 
for, and you know what he she goes watch the birds not be there and he she announced that nick was born isn't that funny it was a cool story that's a great that's a story that they're talking about your parents yeah. On the other side yeah see i'm right that's what your mom just said so i just see a lot of great things ahead of you amazing you. well dawn thank you so much for joining us hopefully this gave you the peace and the closure that you needed karen Beautiful. thank you and spirit thank you thank you girls so okay. much thank you thank you. Karen, thank you i love this Welcome back to The Karen Reese Show. As always, if you would like to connect with Karen to potentially hear about your future or hear from your past loved ones this holiday season, you may do so by visiting our website at www.karenreese.com, spelled K-A-R-Y-N-R-E-E-C-E.com. You can also visit her on Facebook at Karen Reese Psychic Medium, or on Instagram and on Twitter at Karen Reese, or on TikTok at Karen Reese in the number one. You can also call our office phone at 716-580-2520, or you can send her an email, Karen, K-A-R-Y-N, and the little at sign, whatever that is, um, KarenReese.com. We are actually here at uh, Farmer's Creekside in the Roy, right in the village, right off Route 5 on 1 Main Street. It is so spectacular here. Um, if you would like to um, hear about the special events they're doing or even doing in, uh, igloo dining, you can go on their website at www.FarmersCreekside.com. So this is your first igloo dining experience, igloo experience overall. So what did you think? What are you excited for in the future? Oh my gosh, I think this was so fun. One, it's so warm in here, which is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And two, I love the lights. I love the tree in the background. It's been so much fun. It is, and it's like your own little, it's like you've kind of like been floated into the North Pole. Like, it's just, it's so nice and like, you're away from everyone else. It's super safe, it's so nice. The menu is amazing. We've eaten here a couple of times, not in the igloo, but inside. But what about you? What did you say? You know, and I, you know, I eat out all the time. Yeah, I hate to cook. She doesn't cook, yeah, so it's fine. To, I've got to tell you, this is one of my favorite places. This was just such an incredible find. Yeah. The food is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm such a fussy person. Mm -hmm. The ambiance and the fact that you can have your own private little, you know, get together in an igloo. Plus, you've got beautiful water behind, yeah. which it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It just really sets the tone. And inside, it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and a historical element too because we love history so there's all sorts of you know experiences and textures and feelings and you know you can take it all in and enjoy an incredibly uh, well made dinner yeah um, all fresh ingredients delicious and they do like special events here like New Year's Eve they actually have fireworks that you can see as in the igloos over the water it's just which so is so cool you know, can you imagine getting engaged in something oh, like this. Please, I just took Kelsey as we were going upstairs to change. I was like, I, it's my dream to get married here. I mean, um, there's just so many, you know, and it's just incredible. And it's nice too because, you know, let's face it, in the winter, we don't get out as much. So it's nice that you can actually enjoy the outdoors, you know, but when it's so cold, you know, you're not feeling the you know, temperatures. You can just have a nice warm, fuzzy moment. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Yes. I know. Well, thank you guys for joining me on the little, like, igloo. I loved this. <laughs> um, I know, right? Um, as we have to go back to the North Pole. Sorry. Um, but stay tuned, guys, for future episodes of the Karen Reese Show. And you, of course, in the meantime, you can visit us on social. Thanks, guys. Happy holidays. Happy Bye. holidays.